Hey guys, and well, hello people. Sunday the 6th of October, cheers. Coming on to say a big thank you. I had another very good Bandcamp Friday. Thank you very much for your interest in the music and thank you for your support. Um, I watched the stats on Bandcamp uh, and for Nebraska for this last Bandcamp Friday, I came in number three in sales and it says a lot about the real nature of the record business. Um, I was in the top three along with Simon Joyner, Bright Eyes, Anna McLellan, and Cursive. And even though I don't know how many records they were selling, the fact that with the number of sales that I had, which is still small compared to old mainstream um, guides, it just says a lot about um, the true nature of music sales. Um, so I'm very pleased um, with um, the, the with the numbers. Thank you very much. Thank you, folks who um, overpay. I it it is greatly appreciated. It is. I had a few things I wanted to try to share. I'll try to remember them. Um, so yeah, on the new release D, um, thank you for the wonderful feedback. And it's, it's, it's really selling well. I mean, so here's, here's what I was trying to get out. So, when I put that together, I did not bother to sequence it. I just put them in a playlist in alphabetical order. And uh, yesterday I took a, took a moment, well, a few minutes actually, to listen in the order. Because I didn't, you know. I just put it together and put it out. And I'm, I was surprised at how well it hangs together. It's like... This music really is of a larger body of work that I do, and it's all of a piece. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because if you don't listen to it all the way through, you're going to miss out on some gems. Um, the very last track on the album, T, is an important one to me. Server, R.E.M. Breath, these, it's all... Those are towards the end, and I know how, I don't know, but we have such short attention spans that a lot of times it seems like people maybe might get past the first two or three tracks, and then that's it. But uh, the new album, D, is good throughout, and um, just got me feeling thankful, because, you know, we go, I say we, trying to make it relatable to others who do creative stuff. I think we all go through periods of great personal doubt about our work, what we do. And then something will happen where we get a better perspective. And I was just, I've just gone through that, you know, um, thinking, oh, I got to try harder and things have to be longer. I got to finish this. Well, all that can be true, but at the same time, when I put together this latest release, listening to it and listening to fine stuff that I thought would be worth sharing, it's like, this stuff is good. That's the thought. There it is. So, if I were to, whenever I pass away, I've already had a prayer answered. Oh, isn't that nice to the way the light's coming through. I like those lights, those lines. 
One of the prayers that I had as a kid was if there's anything I'd like to achieve in life, one of the things I'd like to achieve in life is to be, to come up with music that is original to me. And, I, and I've done it. It's happened. Um, no one sounds like me. Um, and I don't try to sound like other people unless I'm trying to cover something. It's very fulfilling. And I'm just real pleased and happy that it's connecting with other people. It doesn't have to be lots of people. But anyone at all. And, and, and it's just beautiful. People, you folks that like my music are letting me know, yes, we really do connect the words that you use in describing thank you thank you so much when it comes to the RAF the band is basically donating sales to the children to Kelly's children just letting you know we made that decision as a group yesterday me as the administrator dealing with the records I need a certain amount of overhead so that I can mail the records out and stuff. But we want to honor the family, the children in particular. We'll let them have um, the proceeds. If you follow me on Facebook, you saw a picture. My main um, picture was me and the kids from a few years ago. So there's a big record show in Omaha today. I really want to go, but um, in so many ways, I really need to not go. I'm on the fence. One thing that will get me to go is possibly if I go and I take have merchandise on me, um, there's a good possibility I'll run into people who still want um stuff, but they don't go to the store and buy it, RAF, interlude and stuff. But I don't need to buy any more records, and the reason I'm feeling that is because the records that I'll want are going to be expensive. I may go. I haven't decided yet. I may go just to hang out, but if I go, it'll be such temptation. We'll see. I'm just riffing this morning folks okay but feeling okay and feeling thankful feeling thankful <sighs> okay so some music lynn blessing a vibraphonist don't know much about this person i've looked them up before but i've forgotten what i found out this came out in 1969 Sunset Painter. I first became aware of the name through... I have to look up what the record is. I keep thinking it's a Soft Machine album. It might be, but it's something... I have to look him up and see what his credits are. But this has a, a, a laid-back, almost country sort of feel to it. But it's, it's different because the lead voice... I'm looking him up right quick. The lead voice is the vibraphone which in and of itself is a very, I find a very relaxing sound and, and the tones. Let me just see if I can just, just really quite, right quick see what it is. Paul Horn, The Aquarians, The Advancement. Those are some records I have that he's on. Let me see what else. Tim Weisberg. Okay. Huh. I don't know why for the longest time I would associate his name with... Canterbury. This is a very good album. Here's one where it's a nostalgia trip to, to keep this record because um, it's it's just it's all right. Madrigal. One of those regional bands. I again can't remember where they're from. You can tell by the cover that it's trying to be well, maybe not, but there is 
a bit of classical in here, a bit of Prague, and then there's the Americana. It's it's pretty good. It's not great, but it's it's a keeper. I've had records like that where I've gotten rid of them, um, and it's like now, it's like, man, I wish I had kept that. I'd probably appreciate it more now. And that's one where I'm glad I kept it. Well, what else do we have? I think this guy is from South, uh, South Africa, I think. Duncan McKay, keyboardist. He was in Cockney Rebel, and he's done some other stuff. This is very good. Real progressive, but it also has pop moves. He's a great keyboardist, a great facility. Excuse me, very much, I say, in the Keith Emerson bag um, score. I've had this album for years. Hadn't played it in a long time. And this is good. I've played it all the way through. I still have the original Inner Sleeve Yacht. I have another album by him, Chimera. I think his name is it. Oops. I got played. This had gotten kind of lost because there's no cover and no spine, but I pulled it. And this is a test pressing that was sent to me by a representative of Wharf Cat Records. And what I have here is Macula Dog's last album, Orange 2, a test pressing of it. And I really like this. It's To me, they're in the... Kind of like Devo. Um, who else would I? It's very electronic. It's just two guys. It's quirky. Not paying attention to the lyrics, so I don't know what they're going on about. But the music is is very distinctly weird. But not in a pretentious way. It's just like very inventive. It's like, where did these ideas come from? Macula Dog, Orange 2. I like that. Don't have anything else to show here. Stereo Lab from the Underground. I got bought this probably the second time I saw them live. Uh, tour only um, release. This is when I met Leticia Sadier of the band and had a nice conversation with her about... Um, Noy and Faust. So that's what I can remember to share. I seem like there was more. Um, so again, thank you very much for <clears throat> discovering me and discovering my music. And if you bought D the new one, and then you haven't listened to it all the way through, get to the last three or four tr cuts on it. In particular, the last track, T. It's a beautiful track that could easily have been used for Muse number two. It could still happen, you know, of another version where I add horns to it. But um, it's a very relaxing, beautiful track. I'm very proud of it. Saying hello to my family out in California. We're all struggling. Everyone is struggling, actually, but we're all struggling right now. And so um, I hope that things... I'm always hoping for the best for everybody, for my family. I'm going to leave it right there, folks, okay? Um, Bandcamp Friday is over, but the music is still there, and it is worth hearing. You can stream it on Bandcamp if you don't want to buy it. Listen. Have a listen, okay? Take care.